Hey everyone, it's Chris, Carl Space Program. Using the Navy Fish Docking Tool. Very helpful. And uh, I'll kind of show you how you use it. So, uh, with with ditching that tank, this actually makes this, uh, the center of mass is where the, uh, the jets are, so the RCS blocks. So now I can pretty much turn whichever way I need to, and I will have... Um, it'll move correctly. So what we want to do is we kind of want to get closer to that um, the target down there which is the other it's a, like almost the same thing as this one and now uh, we'll use that to we'll dock with that. So once I just get in close here These thrusters are very, uh, very responsive because it's such a light body. So, all right, we'll just get in a little bit closer here so I can select the docking port. So that is what it looks like. Very helpful. So let me kind of orient this uh, craft correctly, and you'll see this is our docking port. right here, this orange uh, port, and I'm going to get that right in the center of the crosshairs here. It's a little bit awkward, but we'll oop, uh, go up a little bit more. All right, so we are now where we want to be. Now, what I'll do is I'll kind of orient this north-south. I think it's a little bit easier to do it that way, and then I want to switch over to this mode here by using the spacebar and I'll use the shift key and I'll use the control key so shift will push me up control will push me down and these things move really fast because it's such a I got four thruster blocks and it's a very light craft alright so um, the W key brings me in the S key brings me back and these green lines that actually represent my uh, velocity in that axis. So I want to get over here. So I'm going to hit the A key. In this instance, it's actually pushing me to the left. And then once I get there, I'm going to hit the D key. And it'll cancel out that velocity. Now I'm going towards this pretty quick, so let's back up a little bit. So now I'm kind of moving away. And I've gone too far to the left, but I can hold it. Now I want to go back up, and I want to bring my craft uh, close to as close to that level as possible. So uh, right now, actually, I'm going a little bit too much. Usually, with the crafts or the the rockets that I use, it's a little bit. They're a little bit heavier, so uh, these thrusts actually don't usually do too much. And we, you look at the velocity vector here on the uh, in the center of the crosshair, so that kind of tells you which way you're going. Um, so you want to go that way until it gets the green arrows kind of line up with the crosshair. So let's just go, and then uh, you want to stop that velo that that movement. And all right, so I want to go up a little bit. And now I'm going to stop. And let's go in. And this is actually not too bad. I'll have to do a final adjustment when I get there. And let's just uh, tilt a little bit. And now we want to drop down a little. Go in. And drop so I'm a little bit not at the right angle but that's okay it's not gonna matter because I'm so close that we should be able to Oops, I'm not paying attention I'm looking at the wrong camera so we want to go up a little bit down up down and I'm not really actually looking at the camera at the dock alignment tool so that's my my fault I'm showing you how to use it and I'm not using it I 
to get that green bar right there. Uh, it's so tough. These are so sensitive. And we'll go in. And I'll just back off a little bit. So we're a little bit to the right. Oh, there we go. And we're docked. So uh, actually, it's rather painless. I mean, uh, this the heavier the craft is, the, the more you have to burn to actually move. Um, but this and oh, I could use uh, I could have used fine controls too. Uh, you hitting the enter key, uh, sorry, hitting the caps locks key would do fine controls, and then it wouldn't uh, act as fast. But um, not a big deal. So I mean, this uh, this craft here is uh, gonna be destroyed. So I'll end this episode in a you know explosion because everyone likes explosions. But that is the uh, Navy Fish docking tool. You can get it on the uh, starport or spaceport, and it's it's well worth downloading uh, if you're going to do any kind of docking. Now, I I docked manually for not many times. Uh, most of it was done with MechJeb, to be honest. Um, but once I got that tool and I kind of figured out uh, how to use it, and someone had given me a tip where you use the uh, shift and control keys for your translation as well as the A and D keys and uh, ever since then it's been it's actually I can probably do it faster for the most part than MechJeb does and uh, that's pretty cool so yeah definitely uh, check it out and um, you know if you have any questions throw them in the comments or if you'd like to see anything else uh, throw that in the comments and you know like subscribe comment check back other videos and uh, thank you